Hello everyone, Kaiser Rigodo here with some more of Path to Nowhere gameplay. So today I'm going to do the Remnant of the Dead, which is just released yesterday. However, I already finished actually. I did it yesterday, but you know what? I figure I want to make some video. Maybe it could help you to clear it. <laughs> but again, this is not exactly an, a guide video. I just want to show you uh, maybe some game plan maybe like my train of thought when doing something so maybe you can learn a, co a couple of things from there so it's not like really a copy paste type of guide video it just gave you an idea for the next time of how to do this kind of things right so um, you should do it on anomaly if you are want to get the whole reward but if you're not strong enough, feel free to do it on normal, but you will not get the whole reward because I think they'll cap the point. So the main the main um, objective is to, to deal 40k points from each of this level, okay? So let's start with the first one. <coughs> right. So this one actually not that difficult. Something that you have to keep in mind, especially as new player, that you probably don't know this, but not every single enemy is actually only occupy one grid. A certain enemy, for example, like this one, even though um, their model is like only as big as one grid, but their hitbox is actually like um, two two by three. You know? Their hitbox is huge. Yeah, so this two hitbox is really huge. Meaning that if you have a sinner that can hit such a huge hitbox, so basically you can hit like um, more than one enemy with one attack. Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna use the weak spot team. It's for the easy mode, really. If you don't have weak spot team, uh, okay. The reason that, that I'm using weak spot team is because like uh, Bianca ultimate area is basically like this huge, yeah, like three ta three by four, like super huge, and it will hit both. Okay, so I'm just gonna use them. So Sean, which voice would you like me to use? And Golan. Okay, I'm gonna put Are Golan here because like me? I want this woman over here going to attack her immediately uh, That way she will not move anywhere Maybe I'm gonna put the second tank Awu maybe here now if you're wondering like why don't I put Awu Here It's because like this woman here unlike this one is this person doesn't give a shit if I I give I put Awu over here, she will she will keep moving forward until here, okay? That is why <laughs> this is the reason why. And then one more, I will say give it. I'm gonna give Serpent. I think I haven't put Crime Bread on Awu. Where is it? I just put it defensive. Okay, let's do this. See, she do she doesn't care about serpent. However, the this girl is care about Golan. She doesn't care about serpent. That's why I need to block her with Awu. And then don't forget to I'm going to give buff to Bianca. Now, do you notice that Bianca ultimate is? You, do you see like this some um, frame here? That's basically Bianca range area, and it hits both this boss and this boss hit area. Not only that, I think Serpent is also very useful here because, like, uh, if you know that if Serpent doesn't have any enemy on her grid then her attack area basically gonna be three times three uh three by three and if then you trigger that six times she gonna do a sweep which is again the sweep going to cover both the boss it's gonna hit both the boss in here 
Unfortunately, when this can happen, I have to move her. Just keep Bianca. I need to switch so I can break. Oh! oh. Shoot, 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 shoot. I want to break this one. There you go. Just keep Bianca. Um, ultimate going they don't have a chance man they just keep spawning but they're just gonna die immediately oh this one is like really quickly this one is not dead yet Oh, one people. down so quickly. Yeah. I didn't expect that. Let's have with this one then. Move it here. Oh, okay. So the boss is actually die really quickly. Just keep moving Bianca to kill all of these things. The oh my god, we still have a lot of time. We still have a lot of time. Move Bianca. Maybe I can do... Uh, I cannot. I was wondering like if I can do like 50k but I think I can but I don't want to push it anyway. Oh actually I did? Okay. Wait a minute. I forgot to choose buff. What buff did I use? Matching successful. I got 51k. What buff did I use? Contact I'm curious. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, I use this by Enduracina. Well, technically, it's good. All right, okay. <laughs> it's not ideal. It's not really ideal. No wonder, like at the beginning, I feel like why it feels at very slow at the very beginning. But apparently, I'm using the wrong buff. But it's still wrong work anyway because like I bring Golan and 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 Awu. So okay. Okay, so that is the first stage. Let's move on to the second stage. Okay, so we're gonna do the second one And I gotta be honest with you, this one is actually pretty nasty It's probably the most difficult one out of the three But that's because maybe I don't have Bianca anymore because I already used Bianca on the first one <laughs> Maybe if you are using weak spot it's gonna be easier But well, I just have to do with what I have I guess so this 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 area or this this uh, stage has a lot of gimmick like a lot okay so one of the gimmick is teddy okay so the thing about teddy is when he show you its core uh it's going to reduce your attack and hp so you have to break him as soon as possible and teddy has like five core so you might want to bring a team of like sinner that have five core damage ready at any time so for that reason i'm gonna bring nox nox can break one but i think i'm not gonna i'm gonna rely on her core damage i'm gonna bring coco for healing i'm going to bring lady Paul. She can core damage once, so she can be an emergency core damage dealer. 
I'm gonna bring Matilda. Matilda Please can deal two core damage. And Jane, Jane will be wave clearer, but at the same time she will also be a core damage. I can't be held responsible. A core damage dealer by using a Paradise Regain. And I guess I'm gonna be honest, Jane is really really amazing on this one. And the other one is Flabby. Of course it's Flabby. Okay. So we have two for Matilda, Jane have two and Labby have two. So that's six. It will be enough. Okay. Uh I'm gonna use last turn for the Potestas because I'm really gonna need the damage really. And for the buff, I'm gonna use this one. When there are no other sinner within the sinner cross area, crit rate plus 40% and crit damage plus 80%. Which is why I position the sinner like this. It's probably gonna need a little bit micromanage, but it's probably like something that... S a way that I found for now. Because I'm trying hard to not use Shalom. <laughs> I'm trying hard to not use Shalom. If you have Shalom, just use her. Just replace, I don't know. Lady Pearl or, or or maybe Labyrinth or Nox with Shalom or something like that. Okay. <laughs> it will be easier, definitely. Alright, let's give it a try. So first one I'm gonna give the healing to Nox and Coco. Okay, this ball, I gotta be honest, I hate this ball. It's so freaking nasty. Like, because it takes less damage until it attacks you three times. So don't get too imp intimidated with it. If you think like, oh my god, I only deal small damage. No, it's just his, his gimmick is like that. Okay, this is the first core. You have to break it as soon as possible. Oh, I really hate it. One other gimmick is basically the chicken. So the chicken is basically going to buff all the other toy and they're gonna like rushing down to to your chief immediately. So be careful with that. And this one also, if it hits you, I think it's gonna stun you. So be careful also with that. But if you have Jane, <laughs> do you see like he just, she just literally blow up all of them. You can keep moving around between Jane and Nox, depend on which enemy that you want to kill first. Because they're basically the wave clearer of the team. Okay, for this one, do you see that, that duck something coming up from there? So that one is, if you already use your potestas like to the maximum level, you have to make sure that it doesn't hit these two. Because they, they're going to one-shot these two immediately. Nox and Coco will be able to take it, so I'm gonna make them uh, take the hit, okay? Ooh. That was actually too late, but maybe next time. Luckily, it doesn't kill them yet. So I have to be careful with that. Oh, shoot. That was so good man, that was so good. Oh I really hate that thing. Could you just not do that? Okay, it's gonna hit Coco, so it's fine. Oh, I haven't healed Lady Pearl, god damn it. Oh, no, 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 no. Jane, switch, 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 switch. Jane is just one-shotting people, is just amazing. Woo! Love you, Jane. Ah, oh, damn it, I want to... Actually, I'm gonna die anyway. Okay, now Teddy is gone. Just go ham with it. Please enjoy the show.
Oh, I only have like 28 seconds left. What? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. You don't. You, I don't need. I don't need labyrinth anymore. Cannot. Cannot mean things to say. <laughs> Actually, I might need her. Stun me! Wow. <laughs> that was really messy. The curtain fell on but the I'll take it. Show. I'll take it. Such a fascinating story. <laughs> I think I think I will I can do more cleaner, but well whatever. At the fairies Teddy die quickly. <laughs> yeah, so that's the second one, okay? It's 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 probably the most difficult one. <laughs> okay, so we are going to continue with the third one, the last one. Okay, so we're gonna do the third one. The third one is actually not as difficult because it's a boss rush technically, uh, and the thing about boss rush is you only facing one enemy at a time, and do you know. Life loss team is triumph on this third stage. I always bring life loss team during this situation. It makes life easier. So I'm very recommended to you if you're a new player, if make you sure maybe you me. can start investing after the anniversary. Yeah, get Shalom, get your zero, and then probably start investing for Drea. Um. So, Laugh Lost Team has Drea, Leffy, Sumire. Wow, Where's Sumire? You have my respect. Where's Sumire? Ah, uh, Pepper. I'm I think I'm gonna bring Cabernet for the buff. Thank you for your and one more. I'll just gonna bring Mantis. You don't. You can bring anyone for the last one, really. Someone. It's not not this doesn't really necessary. But again, the point like you can do with other team, just you make sure you know what's the gimmick here. I don't think there's too many gimmick in here. Oh So the thing about this one it, it got, at the start of the beginning you're gonna like throwing out like poison pool. So you just need to like move your sinner if they if he put it somewhere under your sinner. And then with this one, I think you can. Uh, do you see like there is like this small B here, yeah? So basically, it going to like attack your unit or your sinner. However, if somehow within this black darker area there is like a poison puddle, the 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 small B here is going to eat the the poison instead, and it will die. So I'm just gonna put Drea here. See, the poison bottle is gone, and the small bee is gone also. I don't think this one has a core, so I'm just gonna damage it normally. Okay, the next one will have a core damage. Uh, a core, a core, uh, a, a core, yeah. There you go, just break it as soon as possible. Can I make a mistake there? What, what you? It's really fast! I don't even get to explain the mech. Oh my god, I should have saved that for this one. There's a There's a son of thunder somewhere. Oh oh oh! Run this, Rickets. Almost forgot. The red heat shall devour everything. I smell the sweet fragrance of souls. Okay, we are back to the first boss. Everything 
So just let the bee hit the pool. There's not really much explanation here because they die so fast. Oh, I have one minute left. I think I think this one has like some sort of mech, like gimmick or something, but I'm not familiar with it because I cleared too too quickly. I smell the sweet fragrance of souls. The red heat. But I think the like the gimmick is um when he's attacking for example he, he target Levy, right? I think it will also damage anyone in the cross area, which is why the reason I keep moving Cabernet. See, do, do you see like below here slightly darker here the grid area here slightly darker that's because like i think whoever stand there is going also to take damage from the target so maybe if you don't if you want to miss if you don't want to heal them you can just move the target somewhere else see as you can as you can see now the, the, the darker the darker grid is moving you see yeah so so if you don't want to deal with that then make sure whoever taking the damage move somewhere else. The red heat. Everything of yours is mine. The cherry blossoms are fine. I smell the sweet fragrance of souls. The red heat. The red heat. Shall devour. Oh no, I can still use Cabernet. I smell the sweet fragrance of souls. The red heat. All right. So that one is actually everything. not that difficult. There's not too many gimmick in there. Just one on one situation. <laughs> but again, if you don't have life loss, maybe you li you're gonna be a little bit struggle or something. If you have burn, I think I think it's a viable option. But I really love life loss for the third stage of every single remnant of the dead. So I really recommend it after after the anniversary and you get Shalom and Zero to start investing on on, on life loss. Decent meal. Okay, so I think only the second one that I'm not doing very well. Hmm. Maybe maybe if I bring Shalom on this one, it's gonna do better. But well. Or maybe if I bring Bianca. But okay. So that is the remnant of the dead. Uh, I hope it helps. And good luck with your run. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.